Hello there. So some of you have gone ahead and created this awesome online store by following our tutorial step by step. And one of the things I wanted to explain in this short video is how to remove this search box over here. Now, if you've set up your website with the storefront theme, and this is only specific to those that have used the storefront theme, as I explained in my video, there is no simple way to remove the search box. But what I've done is done a little bit of investigation and there's just a little bit of code that you can add easily to your site to get rid of that completely. Because if you've got a nicely laid out menu like this and your content is easy to find and your e-commerce store is not too, um, it hasn't got too many products, then you may not want this. So some of you have asked me how to do that and I'm going to explain that right now. So what we're going to do is start on our page here. It's our explainer one pager for our tutorial, for our long tutorial. But what I've done is in the frequently asked questions at the bottom, I have added a section for how to remove the search box. So what you're going to do is take this code and copy it from the entire thing, from the initial bracket to the last bracket there. Just right click and copy that entire piece of code. Then go back into your WordPress dashboard and you need to go to appearance and customize. And then scroll down to additional CSS. Now if you've got some other code in there, not a problem. Just go to the end like I've done there and just hint enter a couple of times and then just right click and paste that code that you copied in that box there. Just make sure you've also captured the last bracket. Sometimes that's easy to miss. Then hit the publish button and you'll be able to see the live preview actually. The search box is already gone in the live preview. But what I'm going to do is just open up our ecom site in a new window just to confirm that that's worked correctly and refresh that hitting Control F5 or Command F5 if you're on a Mac. And there we are. I've had to refresh my page a couple of times because my browser cached the code, which means that it stored that code in its memory so that it didn't have to load it again, which meant that it looked like the change wasn't made, but it was. And this is what your visitors will see now. You can go to any page and that search box should no longer appear. So hopefully that was easy for you. I'll put the link to the code, the page that holds the code. This one here, it's our page where we show you how to make this e-commerce store step-by-step -step using the storefront theme. And if you have any questions about that, don't be afraid to ask in the comments below or please put any feedback or suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.